Oh, nice. First time you came in here, you brought half a Blackwood Park with you. Well, I'm exaggerating. There was mud in your coat and a leaf. Rhododendron. Didn't know that's what it was at the time. Didn't think anything of it. Not until I got involved in experimental filmmaking. Morris, where's this going? What were you doing in Blackwood Park night before last? John? Let me jog your memory. That night, Pete from Pete's trading post picked this up from outside the park. And what a pickle Pete's in now. He said he was going to hand it in. But when he saw what was inside it, Pete panicked. Thirty thousand pounds. Your daughter's ran some money. Uh, I can't. He, he said if I told anyone, he'd... So, it's not a murder. It's a kidnapping. Nothing wrong with kidnapping. Kidnapping's good. According to her father, Sarah Strait took off for South America. Next thing, John Strait receives a photograph of his daughter gagged and chained. She's been kidnapped. Then the kidnapper makes contact and a meet is arranged, not in Brazil, but here in Blackwood Park. Sergeant, hello? Sarah was supposed to be exchanged for the ransom, but she wasn't there. So the kidnapper took off with the money. And John Strait gave chase, but unfortunately he chased him in front of a van and the kidnapper ended up in a tree. The driver of the van couldn't believe his luck. Sees the bag of dosh, does a runner. Strait came to us, but he couldn't say anything because he was worried he'd put his big foot in it. Yes, uh, well, uh, has there been any further contact from the kidnappers? Uh, nothing. No, it looks to me like one man acting alone. That is why Strait thinks he's killed his daughter. I, uh, I, I don't... Because she's chained up in a basement somewhere, and he's put the only man who knows where she is in a hospital, in a coma. Oh. <sighs> mm. well, this is... Really good. Horace Bay. Persian stew. Little sweet and sour balanced with a little spice plus more own special rice. Glad you like it. Mm. You know, all this fuss. It's not even as if Sarah was such a great daughter. Rachel. Well, she wasn't even a good brownie. How'd she get on with her dad? She never sees him to tap him for the next expedition. She travels a lot. Ah, oh, she always wandering off. Kidnapped in Glasgow. How unexotic is that? Should be fuming. So what about this Murchison then? The third oh. ox. What? Is Sergeant Murchison helping you? Dad? Hmm? No, oh, he's, uh, he's still down the station. He's made contact with Sarah's friends and associates, sir. He has a list. I gather he likes lists. What's it got to do with oxes? Oxen. Whatever. Well, that reminds me. How did you go on with your cowman today? Good, I think. We're putting something together. We'll see you tomorrow. Lionel's in some state. Have you spoken to him today, Dad? I've seen him later. You know, this is serious. That inspector's got it in for us. Sounds like your uncle talking. The inspector's just doing his job. We're like that as inspectors. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Yes, there is. Do you care what happens to the deli, Dad? Of course I care, but, but Lionel's running the business. If he was really worried, he'd tell me. Oh, no, he wouldn't. You two don't talk. I see him every day. We talk. Oh, sure, you talk, but do you talk? It's like that time you fell out over the Lockshin Kugel. Ah. See? So, did you just leave him there, then? Murchison. It's terrible, Dad. Leaving him all alone on his first day in a new job in a new city. You should have asked him for dinner. He doesn't eat. But of course he eats. No, 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 no. He passed on lunch, but he's had nothing all day. I mean, what is that? Oh, I better take him something. What? He has to eat. I'll give you a lift. No, it's all right. You stay here and finish your dinner. Rachel, just be careful. Your ankle. Sergeant, 
You almost gave me a heart attack. Oh, dear. Wouldn't want that now, would we? No, I did. Well, no. We really haven't had a chance to talk. Just the two of us. I'm very glad that you dropped. Sergeant. Uh... You were told I need to keep my head down. No prizes. No fuss. And no photographs. My dad's, his office, his desk. No, 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 I'm working in here tonight. I know. Thought you might be hungry. S Stu, from, from Persia. Be cold by now. I know, I drove really fast. I think he keeps a plate in here somewhere. There is my eagle. How's your ankle, by the way? Fine, thanks. Shall I take another look for you? Just to be on the safe side. Cutlery. Oh, don't worry. I'm just using my fingers. I'll go home and get you a fork. Lionel, uh... Pardon? Yes? Just wanted to say, uh... uh this business with the inspector. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it'll work out. You've had a word, haven't you? <laughs> and you? And you could count on you. No, 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 no. I haven't done anything like that. <clears throat> Your turn. I've made a decision about the deli. If we fail this inspection, I'm, I'm not going to try for another kosher license. What? It's just too difficult these days. I mean, who keeps kosher? Nobody, nobody wants it. Nobody cares anymore. I care. Do you? How can you care about any of it? They turned on you. They ruined you. Well. That was my fault. Uh, I broke our laws. Oh, Morris. I've made my mind up. You said it yourself. Sometimes it's good to make a change. Well, naturally, Avril's delighted. She says it'll improve her margin. <laughs> and sometimes I think she's in cahoots with the inspector. <laughs> Ciao. reported him missing, so he's not a local. You sure he's working alone? Cahoots. Sir? So, John. Before Sarah went to South America, you two had an argument in the showroom. I need to know what that argument was about. Pipes are. 
Sarah Strait is a low-risk kidnapping. She has a tendency to stray. The third ox. In fact, I think she knew her so-called kidnapper. I think she colluded with him to get back at a father who wouldn't buy her a car worth 30 thousand pounds and what better way to get back at him than by buying a car from his own dealership with his own money Rich a regular Sherlock Holmes sir that's good very good <coughs> this is terrible well it means almost certainly she's alive and well you don't know that you haven't found her we need proof, hard evidence. What if you're wrong? Who knows what condition she's in? I thought you were only in here one day a week. She's right, Morris. We must still treat this as a genuine kidnapping. So the key to finding Sarah is to identify the kidnapper. Right. We need a plan. We need to generate leads. Mm, we need food. Murchison, run out and get him some sandwiches, will you? I'm not your office boy, sir. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. This is ridiculous, Malcolm. What are you playing at? You can't do this to me. I lost business yesterday. I can't afford another day. There must be a law against this. The only laws I'm interested in are the laws of cash route. Oh, you dare go on your high horse with me. This daily has been kosher since before you were born. My father, Oliver Solom, was a paragon of kosher virtue. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? The Beigel incident of 54. You had to bring that up, didn't you? That was not his fault. That was a supplier. Everybody knows that. So that's it, is it? The sins of the father. One for slugging a bagel in 50 years and I'm the villain. All right, all right, all right. I will give you the bagel. But apart from that, there has not been one single non-kosher item in this daily in two generations. Wow. Stay here, Sergeant. What are you trying to do to me? What is that? It's time. I need your help. I, I don't care if you have to charter a jet fighter. Just get the glasses here. No, no, you no, can't I'm go in there. You might contaminate the evidence. Contaminate? Me? But I must complete my inspection. You carry on like this, sir, and I'll be forced to eject you from the premises. Come on, Malcolm, let's get some fresh air. So, how's Frida? And the twins? Oh. The theme is blue. B-L-U-E, blue. Just do it. Uh. I waited. What? Oh. You were going to bring me a fork. I ran out. I know. Of forks. There was a whole big cutlery crisis thing. So. So what's going on in there then? Sorry, miss, that's classified. <laughs> that's not classified. That's my dad. But let me see. No. Smart man, your dad. Yeah. His last sergeant called him Rabbi Wan Kenobi. He's too smart to be stuck here playing cops and robbers with an idiot like Willing, so, um... What went wrong? Who said anything went wrong? He likes it here. It's a nice neighbourhood. Now let go. Rabbi Wan... He was a rabbi, wasn't he? I never said that. That's how he knows all that stuff about oxes. Oxen. Whatever. Some career change, that. What happened? Nothing. Forget it. All right, I'll just have to ask him myself. No. Please. He wasn't a rabbi. He was training to become one. <laughs> 